Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to Tapas Script and today again you are going to learn something awesome and cool. I was building an application for our Next.js playlist and that's where I learned something really really cool stuff. I learned about JavaScript arrays with method and I believe that when I share it with you and you learn from me, you will also appreciate the addition of the with method to the language. So without any further delay, let's get started with the hands-on coding of JavaScript arrays with method and understanding it in and out. And a small request as usual from the content creator who spends a lot of time and effort to create great content for you, please subscribe to the Perscript because it's a great, great, great source of motivation for me. All right, let's get started. As we are talking about an array method, we will get started with an array. Let's take an array of numbers which has got five integer number. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Now, how would you usually replace an element in an array? If you know the index, you know how do you do it. For example, if I want to replace this 3 with 6, I will first find out the index of it. The index of 3 here is 0, 1, 2 because array always starts with 0 index. So I am going to do numbers of 2. That's where the 3 is placed and I am going to replace this one with a, another value say 6. Now if I print numbers, I will get 1, 2, 6, 4, 5, which is really great, really legit. I have replaced 3 with 6, but there is a problem. In your application, you might need use case where you don't want to really modify the original array while replacing an element in the array. Here what happened? We have this numbers array, which is having a bunch of integer or the number here, and I have replaced one of them with another new number. But what it does is that it actually mutates, means change the original array and you get the result back. Now in some cases, you don't want this original array to be changed. You want immutability, the powerful programming paradigm where you want to maintain the source of the truth of your data. In that case, how are you going to do that? That's where this with method comes really, really handy. So I have the array again, but this time, instead of using the index directly to change a particular element in that position, what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell like const new array equals to numbers dot width. It takes two argument. The first argument is the index. In this case, the index is two. It means zero, one, two. That's the third place and I'm going to replace it with the new number say 6. So in this case, now if I do new array, I'm going to get the changed array. I'm going to get 1, 2, 6, 4, 5. But the beauty of it is the numbers is still unchanged. You see the numbers is still having 3. So in this case, I have got a copy of this numbers array with a particular element at a specific index replaced with a new value. This is a great, great, great value add. Now, this method can be really useful in another case. The index value we use to seek an element in a, at a proper index is always a positive integer number, isn't it? For example, if I do numbers of 3, it's going to give me 4 because 0, 1, 2, 3, this is the value at the index 3, so it's returning me. But can I do numbers of minus 2? I cannot do. It gives me undefined. So it means that the negative index is really not supported in JavaScript array while retrieving or seeking an element at a particular index number. However, using the with method, you can even do that. So let's take the numbers once more. Now I can do const another new array equals to numbers dot width. I can give a negative index now, say minus 2. And then replace this guy with say 8. The minus index will start from the rightmost side. This one will be a minus 1 index. This one will be a minus 2 index. This one will be a minus 3 index and so on. If you want to start from the left side, it's always the positive index. It is the 0th index, first index and second index. From this side, this is minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3 this way. So minus 2 means it's going to find out this 4 and going to replace with 8. So I'm going to press enter. And let me print another new array, spelling mistake, yeah, 
So when I print another new array, so I can see this 8 over here, so which is a replaced value for the number 4. So you see that the negative index also working really, really great in this case. So width is a great, great addition for it. Now along with width, I can also talk about another beautiful method that JavaScript has is called at. While width is useful for writing a particular element on a specific index, even if it is a ne negative index, at is about reading a particular element on a particular index even when the index value is a negative number. So for example, another new array, this particular array is now having number 8 over here which is positively if I see the index number 0, 1, 2, 3 in the negative index it is at the minus 1 and minus 2 because that's how we had replaced it here, right? So we can do another new array dot at minus 2 to read a particular element with the negative index as well. So with a combination of at and with, you can read and write elements on array using the negative index as well. The last thing about the with use case I want to show, which is something that I really, really like, you can chain this particular with method with another array methods if you want. So for example, now let's take const ages and let's put some age over here, again a number, say, 12, 23, 56. Now what I can do, if I have to change a particular index value, for example, this 23, I want to replace with say 32. What I'll be doing, I'll be doing like ages dot with 23 is on the first index, so first index and I will say 32. This is great. Now this with method always return a new copy of an array. That means the return value which is already shown below is an array. So on top of this, I can now perform any other array operation. For example, I can map it. I can double each of this element and can create a new array. Or I can make it like x into 4 if I want and make a completely new array where each of the edges are multiplied by 4 and you are getting a new return value. But while getting that, just note this one. You are not getting a 4 times of 23. Rather, you are getting the 4 times of 32 because this one I have already replaced with 32 and 4 into 32, 4 multiplied by 32 is 128. So if you have this kind of use cases where you don't want to mute it, your original array, rather you want to create a new copy of an array and while doing that you want to replace a particular element's value at a proper index, you can do it using with method. I hope you found this video and the usage of with method really useful. So keep following my JavaScript series, keep following my Next.js series. Also, you can learn from my React.js series. I hope you keep learning, keep shining. Don't forget to subscribe to TapaScript. Don't forget to give your support to the content creator who really works hard for you. Thank you very much. Take a great care.